do we kind of die? Oh. I guess we're live, Ben. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. I thought you were going to introduce us. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just had this conversation. Show to uh, Ben. Show to Ben. <laughs> well, I think we're live. I'm not sure. I think I think we're. Apparently, I think we're your going Facebook live. account has been hacked. It says yeah. it says you're in the show. We are in the show. We're just not on Facebook, apparently, Dan. Uh, I know. I can, let me yeah. see if I can fix that. It says the scheduled start time doesn't match the other destinations. Uh oh. Way to go, Daniel. Well, at least we're at least we're live somewhere. Hey, we're live somewhere. <laughs> we're doing yeah. so anyway, one of these days, maybe by the two hundredth show, we'll have uh, all the bugs ironed out, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Rossi, thank you for joining us. It's good to, to finally hang out and meet you. I know. Thanks for having me. It's been a lot of um, trying to figure out when we can do this, and now it's finally happening. Yeah, I yeah. guess uh, getting uh, getting five or four artists in a room, it's like herding cats, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, are you nervous? Hmm? Are you super, are you nervous? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, she, <laughs> no, you don't look nervous. <laughs> you don't look terribly nervous about it. I was hoping for some nerves. I mean, I'm I'm a little nervous. I mean, I think last week I definitely was because I was not prepared in what I was actually going to draw, and then uh, I got ready and everything, and then it was like. Obviously, it was like, oh, we're not doing that. And I was kind of like, oh, fuck, that's good. I'm relieved a little. I can actually look back for everything better. <laughs> right. So you said you you got a you got a drawing prepared there. Can you show it to us? Is it? Can you... Sure. I am, I'm on my iPad, but I can move it around. Yeah, move it around. Yeah. Fine with that. Mosian. We. Oh, my God. I forgot a whole view of the place. There you go. Oh, can you cool. See it? Oh, wow. That's nice. Oh, nice. Very cool. Can you Sweet. see it okay? Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's great. Yeah, it looks better than uh, Dan's camera looks 90% of the time. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> that is actually true. I'll take that. Yeah, and you get you know, like a glimpse of my apartment, my little tiny apartment. Nice. Who's that person in the background? What person? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Don't fucking do I was like... <laughs> That is the only thing you can see to the dogs. Like, <laughs> <just> <laughs> <calling> <laughs> to you guys have the guy who comes yeah. in to like either murder or kidnap me. Like you have <laughs> here. I mean, that would be a classic episode. That would yeah. be. We get some views on that. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Not again. Yeah. There goes another one. Uh, uh, so yeah, t today's theme, and it has nothing to do with your appearance whatsoever. Um, is Invincible, the TV show, if you're familiar with Robert Kirkman's um, hmm. work. Um, you might be familiar. You've probably heard of Walking Dead. You might have heard of Invincible. It's a good comic. It's a good, uh, the TV show is great. And I'll be drawing, not that anyone uh -huh. cares, Immortal. <laughs> Look at hmm. that. Also starts with an I. <laughs> Indeed. Oh. Now, all the characters, I understand, start with I. And it was a little bit difficult for Robert, but that's one of the kind of cool things that he was able to pull off with this series. And I don't think he is other, a pro. It's groundbreaking in that sense because I don't think any other series has ever done that. Hmm. Is that true or not? <laughs> well the alphabet killer had a, an episode that started with I. Yeah. So this character is called Immortal. It's immortal. Yeah. Immortal. Yes. And Ironically. Then, and then the lead character is called Invincible. Yes. That's two. Right. Is there any more eyes in there, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Omni Man has an eye in it. Yeah. And Rossi, you're drawing um, Adam Eve, Eve, right? That's oh, her name. No eye in that. No, no. eyes whatsoever. Oh, cool. She's a team player. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What does Dave got going? I'm gonna click on Dave. Uh, mine's a robot. A eh? robot. I robot. I robot. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. cool. There you go. What's he doing? I haven't drawn him in years. He's roboting. He looks frustrated. Yeah. That's the way he's holding his gun. It's very yeah, a little, hmm. little phallic It's very bit. Dave ish. That's okay. You know, a little troubling. But Dave's a little bit troubling. Yeah. That is true. How about you, Dan. What are you gonna draw tonight? Um Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I bet, yeah, I bet you it has nothing to do with uh, can, can you guess that which which invincible character it might be? You guys can take a guess. Maybe the chat can take a guess. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, Rick yeah. Grimes. Perhaps. Was Conan part of Invincible? <laughs> yeah. No. Wolverine. <laughs> Barbarian. <laughs> right. But right, I go ahead. Going, I'm sorry. You know, like the six degrees of Nicolas Cage or whatever that thing is? Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon or sure. Jacob yeah. Clooney or whatever his name. Kevin Bacon. I'm going a superhero. Hmm. Hmm. So sure? all, I, I'm sure on some level, a lot of superhero creators, even guys like Robert Kirkman, um, were inspired by this character. Can we see it? Can we see who it is? Can you can you put us out of our misery? <laughs> yeah. Hold on here. Oh, that was see, if I always start with a blank page, as you'll notice. Oh, uh, what's well, life, my friend? Define start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brandon and I have follow-up questions. Yeah. Wait, why is the wow. Rossi, you, you notice the quality of his picture there. <laughs> there <you laughs> like he's got Vaseline over the line. Wow. Look at that. Hold on. Oh. Here he goes. Oh. The dusk isn't even moving. We call that the Kirk angle. Oh, dude, yeah. get a cloth on that. <laughs> Here, hold on. He's a little dusty. Oh, there. there we go. Nope. Well, nope. nope. What? Schmeared the oh, schmuck. I can't even focus, huh? I think it has to focus. There, stay there. Dan's piano has been nope. drinking. Mm -hmm. All right. There. Yeah. Don't move too fast. Oh. I'm not doing anything. So the camera has a like evil little mind of its own. Hmm. That's Y2K. That's quite trippy. It is a little spooky. Kind of like that weird man in your apartment watching you. <laughs> For fuck's sake, guys. I, I actually right. believe that whole moment. Oh, a gargoyle. Like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Hmm. So I decided to draw. Um, Batman doesn't have an eye in it either. No. There's no eye in Batman. There's no teamwork in Batman's world. But there is an eye in Rossi, which is what There important. is. Hey, yeah. that's a good save. <laughs> Thank God there's an eye in Rossi. Oh, I know. So where did uh, Rossi the name come from? I don't think I've ever seen somebody named First name Rossi. Um, it's a nickname that my parents used often, so I refer to it. Um, it's short for Roslyn, which is my obviously my full name after Roslyn Chapel in Scotland. Excellent. Hmm. Nice. You happy, Dave? Uh, <laughs> it's a lot better than Dave. <laughs> yeah, don't believe me. I've always hated that name. You know, Dave is biblical, at least. Yeah, uh, King yeah. Dave and the Goliath. He was the best Dave, <laughs> the best of all Daves, the friendly Dave. <laughs> yeah, or the uh, kids in the hall Dave. It was a good Dave. So, Rossi, did you go to school to learn how to draw? You just like uh, some of us just just had a misspent youth. Uh, I've always done it since a kid. Um, I did go to school, I don't know if it did much. Hmm. Uh, as most, I don't know, I shouldn't say most of our schools are shit, but, um, they are. But, yeah, I mean, I went to art school, I'm originally from west coast of Scotland, and I went to an art school in east coast of Scotland, and it was fine, I learned Photoshop, or I had at least access to it, and, but I hated it, and mm. it wasn't until, I would say, like, third year, I did, like, a comics module for, like, six months, and at first I was like, uh, I don't know if I should do this, if I'll actually make money out of this, maybe be more practical with my kind of choices. But I just thought, oh, fuck it, I'll just do it. And I was very, I was good at it. Like, it was the only class I think I passed, really. Oh, well, not passed, like, I did pass other things, but I just felt genuinely, like, efficient at mm. And I did, like, illustration at school, and they hated the fact I did comics. So, you know, I just was like, all right, well, I'll, I'll continue doing this, though. And thankfully, I had some tutors that were very supportive, who are still good friends of mine today. And, yeah, I barely passed school and didn't go to graduation and fucked off to Canada. Why Canada? Did I'm, yeah, I know. Um, when I was younger, I was like, why not Canada? But now I'm like, yeah, why did I choose Canada? <laughs> did you no, like I, comics as a, as a kid? Did you read comics or? Yeah. Uh, my dad introduced me to a lot of comics. Like I still remember, I think I was eight and he got me the Frank Whiteley series that I did of X-Men. 
That's and, pretty good stuff. And you were eight? Yeah. That's hardcore. Uh, yeah, I don't think he was just like, <laughs> yeah, hey, that's go, some serious comics. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, wow. And I was like, this is good. But I was, it was obviously violent, but I'm like, wow. Um, I still have the comic, actually. Uh, the first few that he got me. And like Sandman, he introduced to me, like, as well. And I'm like, I didn't really get it at the time, um, reading Sandman, but no, so I've always grown up with it and like European comics as well. So I've always liked it and I've always mm. kind of drawn it and been a storyteller and everything. And I think with Canada, to go back why I moved here, it was, it, it was just like in Scotland, it's a shame because there's a lot of great like creative scene there there's a lot of great artists but for comics and like animation stuff it's just not really existent and i just felt what i was doing was not really like accepted so mm. but coming to canada i met a lot of really talented and cool people like in animation and comics that were just like yeah just keep doing what you're doing like this is good or you can improve and i was like oh well maybe there's a place here for me and yeah, so I pretty much just moved here after graduation. So that was like 2015, like the start of 2015, I did that. Oh. What's your favorite part about Canada? Hmm? What's your favorite thing about Canada? Um, There's only one correct answer to this. Wait, that it's not Scotland? No. I, no, I, I like Scotland. Like when I went back for Christmas and Scotland's great. Like I appreciate it now when I'm like now I'm older. I don't know. In Canada, um I'll give you a hint. It starts with a P. Oh shit. Um oh no. I was, no, I was, I was cheese, poutine. gravy, poutine? and French fries. Poutine? Yeah, poutine. Poutine. I thought you were gonna say the beer. <laughs> uh, we have plenty of beer. We don't poutine need beer. poutine is fantastic, but I don't know if that's the <laughs> that's the hundred percent of the best part of it. I wasn't expecting that from you. I'll fight that was a key. That. <laughs> it was a bit of a trick question. Um, I thought you were going to say Tim Horton bits or something. Right. Really? Oh, fuck, I know. Um, I, they got oh, what they do have here that's really good is bacon. I would say bacon's like the best here. Yeah, well, it's it's like half back there, right, or full back, fat back. It's um, it. It's, I don't know, there's something about, like, Scottish, like, bacon, just growing up with it. It's awful. It's really gammy and stringy and shit. But I don't oh, know. It, yeah, it cu it's cut so differently here. And, oh, man, it's, like, it's so good. I, and I would say Toronto, I was speaking to a friend about this today. I would say Toronto's excellent when it comes to food here and, like, entertainment and stuff. Like, it's not a really big city. So, and then... It's probably Toronto is New York after a bath. You know, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great that's a great way to phrase it. I think that's true. Yeah. I don't know. I think I've been to other places in Canada, but Toronto is just, you know, it's easy to get to places, yeah, accessible to everything. I don't know. I have been debating, you know, in the past year after the pandemic about moving, so we'll see about that. What's the what what idea of like what what would you consider? I'm considering doing the States at least for a year or two, or even Europe. Like, I don't know. I did some work there um, for some French clients recently and really enjoyed it. And I don't know. I'm keeping my options open. I'm still young enough to do shit. So explore. Hear that, guys? Hmm? No, it's just giving everybody a hard time. Oh. The youth factor. One of the things I like about your, your stuff is like your figure work is really smooth and fluid. Do you like do a lot of figure drawing stuff? Like how is that do you study animation? I never studied animation, but also thank you. Um I again I've always just drawn I was into animation, but I never studied like the principles of it or anything. I just I just just like would copy things from like TV and stuff and yeah. from books like graphic novels whatever i just like studied so much of it and doing figure drawing as well like life drawing i do miss that a lot actually um but yeah i yeah i'm constantly always just kind of studying and looking at different artists and how they do figures as well and how can i adapt that to my own stuff do you have a favorite artist that you could mention 
Oh gosh. Uh yes. Uh it's a French artist I love. Uh Meryl Frank. She's mm. incredible. Um and she has like a more kind of like erotic page. And I think it's called like it's like Bambe Fortain. And oh, she's amazing. She's like one of my favorites. Very cool. You ever heard of them, uh, Dave? Her? her? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to see some stuff. You'll recognize it. Yeah, she's awesome. Was, uh, a lot of the artists. I can never remember their names. Um, do I have any? It happens with age. I come from the school where I don't really think. <laughs> I heard that, Ben. <laughs> I snuck that in there. <laughs> what the <heck? laughs> yeah, this guy. Where is it? The guy did this. Uh, Sam see anything? Oh, Sam yeah, yeah. The green yeah. Spirit? Oh, he's great too. Oh yeah, that is Dave introduced that to me. That was really yeah. cool stuff. They got oh, kills. Yeah. yeah, he did. Um, is it what's it called? Is it Action Man? Yeah, Last Man. Yeah, Last Man. Yeah, Last Man. Sorry, yeah. And then uh, the guy did Jazz Maynard. That's oh yeah, he's great. Mm. Wow, that guy just blew me away when I first saw it. His big eyes. It's Who do you like better, me or him, Dave? Uh, him, actually. Wow, thanks mm -hmm. a lot. Wow, well, nice. Dan, have you had a chance? I know that I sent uh, I sent Last Man to Josh Barnett. Did you get a chance to look at it? I did. I did check it out, um, and uh, Josh really appreciated it. I remember. It's pretty great stuff. I mean, the series goes into insane places. Yeah. So. yeah. Probably why Josh liked it. He's a little insane. Also, I mean, the action, the guy, the guy's figure work can't be beat. No, it's so good. It's very, very fluid. Like, oh, I mean, I've, I've read that comic. Like, it came out like quite a few years ago. I remember seeing it in Scotland a while back mm -hmm. and it was accessible here. But I used to go to France like every year with my folks when I was younger. And yeah, you would see those books around. And, and no idea what was, what was being. Like, I mean, I don't. I don't mean to be a, a chauvinist, but is it a guy or a girl? Is it a man or a woman? What, the artist? Yeah. Yeah, it's a man. Okay. You happier now, Jeff? Uh, well, I mean, I just assumed, but wow. I didn't. I only huh. assumed because I think Rossi can uh, attest that there are more guys drawing comics than women. It's still a pretty male-dominated profession. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> but I think that's changing. I think it's totally. great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm aware, like obviously it's like male drama. It's the same in animation too, right? But yeah, I it's like yeah. So and there's also um, yeah, there's a lot more women coming in now, and some incredible like you know animation, comics, and game like and games too. Actually, there is a shift. It's just very slow. Right. Well, it's because of guys like Dave Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they used to call me the gatekeeper. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely my favorite Invincibles character. Robot yeah. or, or Batman? Batman? Yeah. Well, Dave, I remember when um, I read the book. Uh, I've been reading the book since it was coming out, and I always liked it. I, I enjoyed it. But I remember you called up and said, "Like, have you seen the cartoon?" And uh, and I hadn't yet. And then it's uh, the cartoon's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Just the, I mean, the backgrounds alone. Having been, you were a background artist, and I was a background artist. And just looking at those backgrounds, I thought, "Thank God I was not on that show." <laughs> yeah, they, they really didn't work. Oh, it's insane. They did. They did not phone in those backgrounds. <laughs> no. So beautiful. Like most. Most animation, yeah, they phone them in, but yeah, that was some good, good stuff. I gotta give it up to Corey. I mean, for a first time mm -hmm. animation, oh, big time. Anything. I thought his designs were outstanding. Yeah, well, I mean, his his stuff is ready made to be animated, so it was right. It was a pretty easy uh, translation, um, but even still, I know he was freaking out when he first started on that. They tried to get me to work on it, and I was just like. Man, you know, Corey's got it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I would just make it worse, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, yeah, exactly. All you would be doing is copying his drawings. Well, it's funny because he always said I was a huge influence on him. And it's kind of like, well, I'd hate for you to go backwards now. <laughs> you know? I can see that though, Dave. When I was when I was doing character designs, I always studied your stuff. Your structure and your uh, volumes can't be beat. Oh, well, oh. thanks. Hmm. I can back that up too because I did the same thing. I didn't know that you because I used to watch Ben Ten when mm -hmm. back in Scotland, and I didn't realize until quite you know until I actually knew you and then saw the credits. I was like, oh shit, okay, that's awesome. You know, I, it's funny when I do designs, I realize I. I tend to design stuff for the easiest possible way to be animated because, you know, I got it beaten into me by Bruce Tim. Yeah. And, you know, I see other shows and I'm just like, oh, man, they got, they got away with that. Oh, I know. <laughs> right. wow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I you know. know. I mean, believe me, I would have designed it a hell of a lot more detailed, but I just, you know, the way we started that show was already under the gun and I knew – our budget was was total shit, and I I just try to make everything as dummy proof as possible. Did it work? Uh, no. Oh. Yeah, I think I actually think that the animation that came back was one of the reasons that it it was I think better than the average bear is that the the designs were pretty pretty foolproof. Well, well I, mean, I know I know that it was uh, back to the. Uh, Invincibles thing, which I wish you guys would concentrate a little bit more on, like I am. Sure. But uh, um, I know it's not easy getting that made. I know that there was like the the law, like the lag time, basically, to get that thing made it took a long time. Oh yeah, I mean they they did not put that out fast at all. No. Um, you know, I forgot how much leeway time they had, but yeah, it was it was a good good leeway. Good head start. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Just like that, um, the fight sequence on episode one is like iconic now. Like yeah. it totally took people. Like you know, first when you're watching, you're like, okay, that's fine. You're yeah. Stupid. But then at the end, yeah, I I just watched that sequence alone because it's just beautiful to study as well. Just like the action, as gory as it is, but yeah, it's incredible. Well, definitely one of the things that they captured in the in the cartoon that was uh, a you know a staple of the comic was just the brutality of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely caught that. Oh my god! <laughs> it is like it's one thing to read that scene, but to watch it happen. Ugh. Oh. Look, uh, I don't remember was I mean I I know I know Ryan Kirkman or not Kirkman uh, uh Ryan. Ryan Otley brought a lot of the super gore to it, but I can't yeah. remember how much Corey actually brought to it. Like, I think he was a well, little. I think for starters, I think with Corey is just his incredible character design initially, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of set the tone for 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 what it was, and then you know, God, it, it just the gore and everything took a life of its own. It's just insane. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Corey's. Fun. Not, I mean, just that, that made it awesome. Corey's not opposed to drawing violence. I just, I'm trying to remember if Corey brought as much as, as Otley did. No, I mean, the thing is, I don't know if you guys remember if you follow Ryan so much or not, but like he used to do these really great daily sketches. Oh, um, yeah. No, I love I loved those. And his, uh, and his attention to detail and his ability to draw a, 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 dis, a deconstructed human is yeah. impressive. Hmm. Almost as if he's maybe deconstructed a human. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, was it Michelangelo or Da Vinci that would sneak into the um, the mortuaries at night and uh, work mm -hmm. on cadavers? It was both of those guys, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Still Leonardo, yeah. I bet. But yeah. every Italian in those days—that's <laughs> an Italian thing to do. But yeah, I just hoping they did. They just got to do. They didn't have Pinterest. They have to go. Like <laughs> right, exactly. There was no Instagram. Oh. Yeah, there was no antiquity to look at. They were living in it. So, yeah. did, he, you know. did he sneak in through the sewers? Probably. Well, you know. I mean, like just like all the others. Um, with, his, with his buddies? 
yeah, wearing a little blue mask or a red yeah. mask. That, like a night, Stop I was like, I, 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 it's like, let's go for life drawing, and you're sneaking into the sewer. <laughs> yeah, right. And that a bunch of artists. I was like, the fuck out of here, guys. Yeah, <laughs> when uh, when Dan, and Dave, and I used to go to figure drawing classes, it's a lot less skulking. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Not not a not no skulking, but just less skulking. Less yeah. autopsies too, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, we didn't have the funding. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we did. Down, down do LA, you couldn't find some for free. Uh, <laughs> you you got to be very cautious um, <laughs> when you ask people. Yeah, what you find for free around here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jeff, uh, I mean, you know, that night we were walking home that one night, that one guy was already in a kind of a unique pose. We could have just stopped and, and drew him. There was, I mean, there was some serious anatomy on display. Yeah, and, and internal anatomy that was coming out. <laughs> yeah. You know, living in a in a city has its ups and its downs. True, <laughs> and that was that was that was both an up and a down depending on what time you caught the guy. Yeah, yeah. Which end you were uh, viewing? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, downtown Rossi, downtown Los Angeles was um, and probably still is a, an adventurous place to hang out. Totally. Okay. And we loved it. I, I mean, we, I, I do honestly. I like I like Oregon quite a bit, but I do miss the uh, the the unknowability of Los Angeles. Well, it's just city life, right? Like you're just like you're in the bustle of it, and you're like, oh, what's going to be the threat tonight? It could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's, yeah, what what dangers will I face on yeah, my way home? Look on the edge, man. <laughs> Sound like the guy in your apartment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right you know there. what? I've accepted him now. Like he's not anything <laughs> yeah. wrong. He's, he's cool. like a new plant. Yeah, exactly. I love plants, so that works out. All right, it's time to watercolor. What? Oh, wow! That nice. quick? Jeez. I'm sure you want to rush into it. Oh, I'm rushing, baby. I'm rushing. <laughs> oh boy! Here we go. Now is not the time. Look at them. Moose and squirrel. Uh, yeah, have they uh, blown up uh, the nuclear reactor yet? That's what I'm waiting for. Man, the tough thing about being a kid from the '80s is it's very difficult not to have, um, not to hope that Jean Claude comes and saves us. <laughs> I mean, this, is, yeah. this this feels like an opening to a Jean Claude movie. Mm -hmm. It's the new Under Siege Three, perhaps. <laughs> Hey, uh, what's his head? Steven Seagal's right. there, right? Yeah. Seagal's right to be there. I mean, he's but he's fighting on the wrong side, sadly. Oh, God. Yeah. Speaking of Van Damme, did you guys know that Van Damme was originally the Predator in yes. a costume? All right. I, I yeah. never knew this. And I, I did. I, uh, what, what's happening right now? Is that so true? In the original what? shoots of the Predator, it was a completely different looking creature, and Van Damme was inside of a costume playing the Predator. Oh. Yes. What? This is true. Yeah. So this was the Predator photos was Expendables on the Zero? Like <laughs> Yeah, it was Expendable Zero. <laughs> That's crazy. Why did he not stay in the costume? I think he just he, it looked terrible. Oh, to Van okay. Damme, the costume <laughs> the costume itself was like like I think it was so much like he just was burning in there. He 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 was complaining and finally he was complaining so much I think they just said, Okay, we either need I don't like we're going to come up with a different costume. I think we're going to come up with a different actor. So what poor um, sucker did they get to take his place? Well, some giant guy. I mean, Van Damme himself is not not a terribly large human being. Tiny so. feller. Wow, that's an interesting bit of trivia that I had no idea about. Yeah, the costume the costume never made it past the styrofoam stage, um, and it looks really bad. Yeah, it, there, there's quite a few photos out there on the internet. I forget where I came across it this last week. Uh, I saw one photo. And I was like, I got to Google. That can't be right. <laughs> wow, that's, that's right. amazing. So he was in the jungle <laughs> wearing yeah. that costume. <laughs> so, yeah. and, and this is honestly, this is a Van Damme who, who was not a star yet. You know, right. He was, is this pre-Kickboxer? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, okay. there's debate about that too, but... Um, oh, there you go.
I always wow. learn something new when I watch you guys. <laughs> yeah, all this knowledge <laughs> will, <laughs> will not save you <laughs> in any situation. It won't save me in an L.A. night. No. <laughs> so, hey, I, I take it back. You never know. You might be able to stun an attacker with, like, did you know that Van Damme, I mean, in L.A., that might actually play. Yeah, that might give you some, some traction. I Except think the so. attacker could be Van Damme. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly. And we become friends. <laughs> I win him over. <laughs> yep. Jeff, did you ever wish you lived downtown? I, you know, I did actually. I loved, I love visiting Dave downtown. I loved it when we would go to figure drawing class down there. I, I thought it was great. Yeah. I loved it too. Um, there's a guy who's doing a podcast and he landed up renting my, um, I, actually I gotta, I gotta write him back renting the same unit I did. Oh, that was a great little pad. Yeah. And he'd, he'd get my mail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's also, All your mail. Guy, so I don't know how much he actually kept, you know, <laughs> interesting. Oh, that's funny. Um, so was yeah. he getting all your comps? Yeah, he's getting all my comps. <laughs> you know what's funny about comps is that uh, when they used to send them out, I would get Dave stuff all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Johnson's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A dime a dozen. But, uh, uh, yeah, they were, we were apparently. <laughs> Too many in my opinion. Yeah. Are you happy with the last name of, of Gifford? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I have a very pretty good Scottish like full name. Like my full name is Rosalind McFarlane Gifford. It's that is a good. Hard. That is a good name. Mm, very. Yeah, cool. I got. It. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I, it could be worse. So, Sounds yeah. like you'd shout that out on the moors as you <laughs> run away. Right, right. That's a good battle name. <laughs> I mean, they should just announce that at comic shows now. Just have like my name <laughs> right. by, you know, when you're trying to find your table, just pull up my full name. Just have like this extra long like tag. Uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Oh. For um, for Canary, I think I'm going to go with my full name. Daniel and In Duke. retrospect, I think I should have been using this a long time. Kind of like how Tex has, just goes by Tex. And you could just been Duke. I could have just been Duke. I mean, that, well, that does seem pretty obvious now that you should have been I, doing that the whole time. Yeah, Danny no, Duke. I, I was, that was an error. I should, have, I should have done that. It's too late now, but... Ah. It's never I too late. you got plenty of time to rebrand yourself. Rebrand, yeah. Dan. Think of it. You can make yourself a, like a little brand of the Duke. Mm -hmm. You go by Danny Dukes and just wear short jorts all the time. Yeah, you know wow, what? I think Dan, I think Ben is is hitting some uh, some shit <laughs> yeah, out of the park right now. Making sense. <laughs> yeah. Good brainstorm. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like this is money in the bank, Duke. Yeah. <laughs> there was a time where I thought about changing my name, and then I saw the whole Howard Stern making so much fun of uh, uh, who's the the sound guy, the uh, guy that does all the sound effects. Um, on the Howard Stern show. Um, oh, I don't know the guy from Police Academy. No, no, he's, he's been a part of the show from day one. Um, <laughs> oh, I know who you mean, Artie Lang. No, no, he no, it's Artie. Artie. <laughs> You've already forgotten it. Come on, come on, Dave. Don't make me Google it. Well, it's it's him, Robin. We need to get and... you some Prevagen. You're you're having a hard time recalling stuff oh well that's been my whole life it's all that uh, weed out there in california yeah i think that uh selenium and um and basically some fish oil dave that's where that's where the that's where the memory's at babui babui no he's the producer i'm talking uh, about he's, he's on the sh fred fred uh, there you go <laughs> he wanted to change his name and well, this is the no prize for the week Fred. <laughs> there you go. They gave, they, they gave so him a hard time about it. They gave him so much shit about it. I was like, well, I'm well what was Fred's it. original name? Well, he wanted to change it to Eric. Oh. What? That's not much oh. of an improvement. I, I mean, know. like, if you're getting... <laughs> what the fuck? That's so underwhelming. Yeah, if you're going to go hard. through the effort of changing your name, you should change I mean, it to... your name's already Eric. That's fine, but... I don't yeah. know how many people are changing their name. You It'd be like if I went from Jeff to James... Yeah. To Dave. 
Yeah, not a, not a huge impression. Well, I still, I mean, Dave actually does get some pretty good mail. Yeah. I've heard. Yeah. Oh, when I found out. Farming when, magazines. When yeah. I found out my parents uh, was supposed to, it was a toss up between my middle name, Lawrence, Ugh. and Knight. Oh, fuck. I fuck. like Lawrence. Lawrence sounds yeah. respectable. Lawrence of Arabia? Lawrence Johnson. L. Johnson? Hmm. L. It's like Larry Johnson. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, hmm. no Larry for me, man. <laughs> it could have been Knight Johnson. Knight? Yeah. Sp- uh, like spelled the K or an N. I don't know if you could have pulled it off, though, Dave. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a heavy it's load to carry. No, I, don't know. You. I don't know. I could have pulled it off. Yeah, nah, I, I agree. Dave, I, think, I think Dave could have swung it. Mm, come on, Jeff, you're being kind. D. No, Knight no, Johnson. Think, I think Dave could have swung Knight Johnson much better than I could have swung Shane Johnson. Shane? Well, that's my middle name. middle name. Yeah. So were they fans of uh, Western movies or something? So my mom um, loved Alan Ladd and she loved that movie. And then that was supposed to be my name. But when I popped out, she looked at me and then <laughs> everyone agreed that I should be named Jeff. Which I think is an unfair. I just don't what think that that. that <laughs> that's no shame. That, that's no shame. That, shame. That, this, this child can't handle the name Shane. We shall call him Jeff. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that was cool. I'm just imagining the fucking room and everyone's just silent and they're just like, mm, you know what? Let's pull that back. Um, Apparently, there was a consensus that Shane was too much for me at that point. Oh. Maybe at that point. Hmm. Jesus. Yeah. Now, it does seem like that you should be able allowed to grow into your name like a Viking. Yeah. Hmm. My yeah, mom. Dude. My mom was sure I was going to be a girl, and so, uh, <laughs> so she bad. had been calling me Katie while she was pregnant. And oh. uh, when the doctor delivered me, he looked at her and said, "Sure, hell is not a Katie." So, yeah. so there you go. That's I do had a name change. Although I may. Made- from now on, refer to you as Katie. Now, have I ever? You can. That's you know, fine. Is that yeah, okay? That does seem. That does seem very reasonable. Some days so, I like, feel Kateish. Yeah. Was Ben just a just a, a the first one that popped in, or was Ben someone that is relevant? Uh, well, Benjamin is the youngest uh, of the tribes of Israel, the oh. sons of Israel. Gotcha. So okay. remember the Jewish connection. Gotcha. So yeah, and I'm the last kid, or should. <laughs> Should be the last kid. So. <laughs> as far as you know, sadly, um, I still think I have siblings out there that I haven't met yet. Wow. Oh. Dan's met. Dan's met one of them. Experience. That's true. I'm convinced there might be kids out there of mine that I don't know. <laughs> That's it's really possible. the issue. It's possible. <laughs> That's a yeah. I mean, yeah. Hey man, the '80s, the late '80s were a crazy time for me. Yeah, <laughs> poppers and cocaine. Dave could not be stopped. You know, Bless being you. a nightclub DJ. Has <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, you were a DJ? Shut up. Just once. <laughs> <laughs> this is initials. Rossi, would you like to share what you're uh, working well, on again? Yeah, we like to share here. We have some requests. It's just because I'm not tech savvy, so let me move my drink. There we go. Oh, no, come back. There we go. Ugh. I know. I may print this and, like, ink it traditionally when I actually have time, but... Sure. There we go, just now. Nice. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool. That's great. I love the blur on her foot. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Definitely I don't know. Blur guy. Well, I mean, I, I think that doing animation and doing comics, you pick up different tricks. Yeah, you do. Just kind of like cool little things that like, I remember advice I got once and I still use it to this day. It was um, every line, like for animation anyway, cost money. So yeah. it was like, so how do you get enough information out with the most minimal lines? And I just found that like such an interesting, like I keep that as like a challenge for myself. Cause sometimes I think, oh, I'm too simple with how I draw and this and that. And then other times I'm like, Actually, I could simplify this more and I could be quite effective by, you know, cutting some shortcuts. I can just get enough motion in. That's a really, I don't know if I've ever heard it phrased that way that every line costs money. I think that's a really, that's a great shorthanded way to think of it. 
Well, it Jeff, let's cool. look at your drawing and let's contemplate. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You've obviously never heard that before, Jeff. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the thing about I spent, uh, what, it took me a long time to make the shift from comics to animation, and it was not a, mm. it was not a pleasant transition. I got one note uh, when I was working on the boondocks um, from the art director, and it just, it was in a big red marker on my drawing. It said, draw better. <laughs> Whoa! Really? Yeah. Wow, that's rough, Jeff. That cunt. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> he wasn't wrong. I did need to draw better. I mean, that's but... always good advice. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's. I mean. <laughs> Try not to suck. You know that's. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but oh man, just I mean, I've had passive aggressive notes at work. I actually. That's I... actually that was fully aggressive. Yeah, yeah, that is, yeah that's, that's just blunt, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you kind of applaud that in a way? Because it's just like, let's cut to the chase, kid. Like the same, the same guy. Um, I had to draw um, Lionel Richie's penis <laughs> and, and and genitals, and um, <laughs> and the note, the note I got on because when you do animation, you have to draw their like special poses. Like every once in a while, you'll send the character designs over, and the overseas studio will be like, "We don't know what this looks like. We need a special pose of this." Yes. And so they asked for a special pose of Lionel Richie's penis, and um, that they did. So I had to send that. I had to draw that. I had to send it over. And the note I got was, "Make it more anime." Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. It was a weird show, Rossi. It was a weird show. I'd say, wow, that it's always interesting. The um, yeah, the spe I, like I know about the special poses. There was one show I did concepts on, like it was a more like kind of like more mature show, like show. Mm -hmm. And I remember the I did carry like human designs and stuff, but they went with someone else, and that was fine. But there was like a talking uh purple dirt dildo. Uh, like the side character. I love that you, you said it with a question mark at the end. Uh, yeah, well, he was he had arms and a face, and apparently there was all they had hundreds of different designs of this guy, but apparently <laughs> they really liked the ones I did, so I was the dildo designer. Um, <laughs> I did all the special posing, I did the expressions, and yeah, I, it was. It was pretty cute, actually. He was I, <laughs> that's that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, no, the stuff that they'll ask you to draw for money is crazy. So that uh, wasn't the first that those that wasn't the first genital I had to draw on that show. Gosh, I bet not. Yeah. Oh, the things you do. I mean, get into get into comics and animation, kids. It's great. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. You too can draw genitalia. Right, so it's not all. It's you know when you're taking anatomy classes, it's not just all drawing big superheroes destroying stuff. Sometimes you have to really pay attention to the finer detail, oh, the, the gross anatomy, if you will. Hmm. Well, it's it's weird how you went on to do it just for fun. Well, yeah, no. Then it became once you start it, Dave. It's really hard to stop. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. like a bag of lettuce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like heroin in a way. <laughs> I mean, once you know how to do it. How you go to like start exploring different styles and stuff, and you're just exactly. like, you feel like you kind of feel powerful. You're well, like, I mean, the more <laughs> anime was kind of opened a door for me, mm. and then I'm like, oh, if I can do this, I can do it more anime. Can, can I make this these genitals more Rubenesque? And you did, I, you yeah. No, I, 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 you should see some of my sketchbooks. I have, <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're lovely, yeah. yeah. Well, Dan has posed for a bunch of them. Dan That's actually has true. posed for, I mean, I have a lot of embarrassing Polaroids of Dan from back in the day. Oh, my yeah. goodness. That's why we've sort of remained friends. <laughs> yeah. Black yeah. Well, at, this, at this point, there's no getting out. No. So, so if you watch Boondocks, is there a uh, credit to Dan for Lionel Richie's? Uh, uh, no, sadly, the, the truth of that story is that um, I had to draw Lionel Richie's genitalia and I had to draw um, Granddad falling down the stairs um, and his taint falls into Cam. And so I had that was a special pose that overseas asked for. Um, you, you realize they're just messing with you. 
A hundred percent. Except that that was sadly, <laughs> that was I was the guy. I was the last guy to get the buck, and so um, oh my goodness, I would not want to check my browser history at that point. <laughs> yeah, probably not a good idea. Yeah. Jeff, you ruined my browser history when we were just discovering the internet. <laughs> I didn't know that some things would get at a computer just shut down. You know what's interesting? <laughs> Normally, Jeff would actually say what those things are, but he knows they're so awful. They're so awful, you can't even say them out loud without having yeah. everything shut down. And I was like, what the hell, Jeff? I, I mean, I was just curious. Yeah, well, <laughs> really, it, re it shut down my whole internet. The yeah. FBI I came to your door. I, I probably still am on a watch list, thanks to you. <laughs> well, I mean, welcome to the club, pal. <laughs> so did, did, did one of those things involve cups? <laughs> no, uh, that, there was no cups then. They had no, okay, this is this is pre cups. Pre cup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Listen, everyone makes everyone has to learn from, you know. <laughs> sometimes some lessons are learned the hard way, and some lessons are learned the really hard when way. When a friend stays at your house. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, Jeff, I'd say that was a lesson learned the easy way because you didn't have to deal with it. That yeah. I mean that is true, Dave. Thank you for that. That's smart. I should start learning more lessons that way. Oh, yeah. maybe. At a friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I mean, when I babysit Dan, Dan's kid the other day, uh, believe me, I'm the I haven't shown up yet at his house. Yep. Yeah. Dave's, like, Dave's like the perfect uh, babysit guy. My kid, the kid never has to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's, Dave's like, nah, I know, I, I know, I know Dan, he's fine. He's fine. You want some coffee? Have some coffee. Yeah, <laughs> a little. I'm gonna watch yeah, all the show. sugar I gave him, man. He's yeah, yeah. it up. You, yeah. you like ice cream, right? I love ice cream. <laughs> when you get big, you many ice cream. Have some ice cream. Everyone loves ice cream. Yeah. Oh, he, he's a big fan of Ben 10, so I'm surprised he, he didn't make you watch that while you were, uh, while you were over. Yeah, he, he didn't really bring it up. <laughs> he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't mention it. It's too busy watching that uh, Pam and Tommy Lee. Oh god! Yeah. Well, we had to get caught up, you know. Right, right. He's a completist. Speaking, speaking of speaking of talking penises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have heard nothing but good I things that about that was, I knew that scene was coming, and it still blew me away. I, I couldn't believe they got away with that. Well, I think standards have changed a bit yeah. <laughs> yeah. from when, you think? when we, we, you and I remember TV. I mean, it couldn't even have done that on HBO back in the day. No. Remember when um, that, that, David, that, that Ben Ben show? Um, I think that's got a name. Like David Ben Ben? Brian Ben Ben? No. Brian, Brian Ben Ben. We had him on the show. No. the I um, can't remember the name of the show Thank now. You, Rossi. Maybe you should take some fish oil. I know I should. <laughs> he was in the he was in that oil. movie with Dolph not Dolph Lundgren. Um was it Dolph Lundgren? The uh Sylvester Stallone? No, Universal no. Soldier with I don't know. No. At <laughs> Come in Peace. Was it Dolph Lundgren? Oh, uh Rowdy Roddy Piper? No. Was it right? No, that's we, that's this, they live. This is desperately when we need we we need our comments with, with anybody who's who's still brave enough to be watching. I don't know, remember, I've come and peace around, like, yeah. a lot of shit has been discussed. Uh, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> we like to bounce around, Rossi. Yeah, yeah. I, I like how we saved our dirtiest show for uh, the first female guest we've had on. She yeah. is Great Scottish. Job, <laughs> I know. I already know Dan's, like, freaking, trying to figure out where he's going to cut the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's episodes where I'm like, okay, back to the... Uh, I don't think we've said anything particularly. No, thank God Jeff did not mention the search the search names. No. <laughs> so we're I, okay with that. I mean, perfectly, to be honest, I think that uh, I don't even know if I could spell them anymore. No. And I apologize. I said the C word, which I know for some Americans, that's quite different. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's an international, it's it's international so show. Funny. We're yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for the Scottish, that's like, that's your word. You can use it. It, yeah, it yeah. 
I just I, I love that word. I think it's a beautiful <laughs> word. Um, but yeah, I know sometimes I know I've said it in Toronto and people are just like, <gasps> and it's just uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> shock. Well. And I kind of like it because you get the final say when you obviously. It's true. It's, it yeah. stops the argument right there. I have heard that Toronto is full of prudes. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really engage with them, you know, I'm just, yeah. Who's your favorite Canadian? Did we already ask? No, you didn't ask. I don't, I don't know. Um, Trudeau? Um, <laughs> Could be. I, I would say probably the uh, uh, the kids, in the, one of the kids in the hall. Oh, that, that, that is a thing. Um... <laughs> she's not that old, Jim. She's not, she's not going for that one. Of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm aware of it. Um, I just <laughs> want to say... Um... <laughs> Rocket Richard, he was great. Um, favorite oh. Canadians. Oh, oh no, I blanked on his name. Um, Ryan Reynolds, he's Canadian, right? Yep, I like yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves Ryan Reynolds. He's my favorite Canadian. Why not? Like, I'm just, I, I, that's the only name I can think of right now. He's funny. Why not? Have you guys seen a uh, free guy yet? I liked it. Oh. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. <laughs> Ben, what did you think it was going to be? <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. Look, any movie I've watched in the last two years of COVID uh, is viewed through a different litmus test than normal cinema. Listen, Free Guy is not as good as, as some of his quintessential work like The Proposal, but it's still up there. <laughs> like Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> Even he hates Green Lantern. Oh, passionately. Uh, that's such an awful movie. Uh, what was the other one that he put out on Netflix with the uh, Rock and uh, Oh, oh I uh, saw that. Red, uh, Red Notice. Red Notice. That's that was cool. okay. I mean, it was pretty formulaic and and yeah. super pop uh, pop or uh, popcorny. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Right. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like they were trying to you know push the medium at all, um, but yeah. You know, I'm seeing worse. Ben, did you see Six Underground? Six Underground, no. Uh, that's also like on Netflix, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't watch it. That, I didn't watch that either, Jeff. Michael Bay. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a super liked, Michael Bay. I like the, um, what's that one with Hemsworth? Um, Extraction? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. good. That's, uh, yeah. that's Andy Parks. Yeah, that's his, that's his, uh, comic book yeah did you see that one uh rossi no that's a good one okay. she's got canadian netflix they they don't get i know, you know it's too violent stuff it's like 24 7 it's, it's probably 24 7 letter kenny up there <laughs> listen the first few seasons of letter kenny are great yeah oh man it felt so bad. I tried watching the new season. I was like, oh, my God, it's the same stuff. It's the same joke over and over and over again. I think yeah. they close out. I think they close out well. I enjoyed Leonard, the, 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 I mean, it, the, I mean, nothing is going to be as good as that first season when you're like, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, when I went back home for Christmas, it was really nice to get back to like Scottish, British television. It's, mm. oh, I miss just the format of it. Like Canadian American TV and stuff. It's jarring for me to watch. I don't know if it's just the breakdown of ad, like adverts or something, but mm. oh, it's a fucking nightmare. But <laughs> I, I don't know. But I also love, like, I'm always loyal to like my Scottish like comedy shows. What's a, what's a Scottish comedy show? Uh, one that's really good is Still Game. Uh, Berniston and one that's in Glasgow is called Lemmy Show and it's just this fucking odd dude high on stuff and he's a Glaswegian and he makes really odd skits. You can watch it on YouTube and All right. I recommend it. It's very strange but I love it. Did you ever watch uh, The Inbetweeners? Yes. Oh, uh, Garth Ennis turned me onto that and I just fell in love with it. Oh, it's so good. It's just something about it. There's also one called Friday Night Dinners and that's really good. Let me just uh, quickly bring the up. I fell in love with Garth Ennis once. It's a long night. Well, he's Very he's a, he's not a sensitive lover. No. Very. So it's um, it's siblings. 
a Jewish family who return home each week for free eats. And basically, so they're going back home every Friday, these two teens. One of the guys is from Inbetweeners, and it's just awkward nightmare scenarios like every episode is like a different like friday night and it's so funny it's like only um six seasons but it's really really good see that's the thing i hate about british tv it's like you find something you really love and you're like well that's all you're gonna get yeah it's not a lot yeah that's that's like faulty towers sadly mm -hmm. yeah. or you could watch doctor who for like 30 years straight oh god <laughs> i i can honestly say i've never seen an entire doctor who uh, that's two of us. Yeah. Wait. So you, not even the Eccleston stuff. I think you'd like the Eccleston stuff. I don't even know what that means, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware, Dan, that you have. You know, that you're not a big sci-fi fan. No, I like sci-fi. I just don't like the guy with a scarf running around the phone booth. Well, that's, that's here's the thing. That's, a that's one Doctor Who out of a million. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Don't don't even try, bro. Don't even try. All right. All right. Well, what about the uh the robots that can't climb stairs? Oh, you mean boy. the ones that can fly? The Daleks. Yeah. Yeah, they can fly, oh, dude. They yeah. can fly. All you gotta do is go up the stairs. I can't be like if Dan said I don't I don't like Moby Dick because I don't like whaling stories. <laughs> I don't know. I I, I have a personal hatred for those Dalek things because they always there's always one that bothers me at a comic show. Like Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a real fair. That's a fair critique. There's always some guy in it chasing, <laughs> doing something inappropriate. Yeah, I mean, it just there's always one that hovers around the table or something, and every time I'm like, I don't want to touch a weird fucking like suction cup hand. So, like, leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, the only I wouldn't even know what that is. is. Like I've probably seen them at yeah. shows. I don't even know who they are. Dan, I'm sure a Dalek has has rubbed up against you and been in its little thing going, exterminate. exterminate. Yeah, it's a, it's a I'm really positive that's happened. That's, yeah. I bet that's happened a lot. Yeah, I, I'm definitely definitely sure that's happened. It's like the only thing worse thing, are the yeah. Jane hats yeah. from Serenity. Oh, the Jane hats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we, we love it for other reasons, too. <laughs> a little story behind that one. Excuse me? That was great. Good times. Yeah. What are gems watching? No, probably not. <laughs> oh man, that was. Like, when is Joe Casada ever going to come back? What did you guys say to him? <clears throat> I don't think it's bad. us, Danny Dukes. You think it's think me? It's, yeah, I think oh, it's the internet. I have noticed that he hasn't been around much. I was wondering if he was going to be on here or not. Joe's been busy. Joe's kind of a Big wig at Marvel. But, <laughs> he's he's a busy guy. And, he's he's a and, stuff here. and sometimes Joe gets a little, you know, Up I don't know if he can take it. He's a busy, busy man. He's definitely a busy man. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. We should get, what do you think about Frank Thierry? Should we get him back on, Rossi? Uh, sure, why not? You guys <laughs> can compete with how many swear words you say. I'm going to give you a run for the money. I'm, I'm sure. taking Frank in the over. That's, yeah, I mean Frank's awesome. Frank's kind of Scottish in that way. <laughs> well, he's part Canadian. Yeah, French Canadian, the worst part. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, be Son nice. Of me. Oh boy. <laughs> Tabernock. That's my favorite Canadian swear word. Tabernock. Tabernock. What does that even mean? It means tabernacle, like uh, the. How is uh, that a swear? Because you're using something holy in an offensive way. Oh. I learned to swear in Korean, and uh, mm -hmm. it's a lot worse than that. Yes, but tabernak is just beautiful. French you know where Zounds comes from? I don't remember, remember calling you that. Zounds? Zounds. Um, is that is the blood of the... It's, it's got something to do with the Lord, right? Yeah, it's God's wounds. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Sounds I think like, Middle English, I think. Yeah. God's wounds. Yep. Sounds like Zoiks. Zoiks just comes from Scooby. <laughs> yeah. That's, just a, that's when a stoner is surprised. <laughs> I still love it when I found out uh, Excelsior had different meanings. Oh, really? What are the, what are the different meanings of Excelsior? Wood chips. <laughs> Wood chips. What? what? So, uh, yeah, or, yeah. or or remnants of fish when you scale them and stuff, you know. <laughs> so really? I, always, 
I always used to joke, uh, instead of saying Excelsior and Stan Lee's voice, I always go, what ships, true believers? Oh, my God. And how'd that go over? Uh, People love that, I bet. I think it's hilarious. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people really ate it up. I mean, people love that. I'm a little sad, <laughs> Dave. Honestly, I don't. I mean, I don't know if I like knowing that. I'm sorry. No, I just I mean, I I think I like the knowledge, but it just I'm like now I all I hear is wood chips. That's it. <laughs> you just don't like his joke, then. Oh no, I, you know I don't I don't like any part of my childhood being shot having a, a bright light shone upon it. Mm. <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Oh. This is how all the shows kind of go, Rossi. They, it, once we're finished, too, there's a whole like therapy part of the show. Right, right. I can tell. I feel like <laughs> I, I'm really getting exposed to a lot of feelings. And... <laughs> exposed is a good word. Yeah, yeah. 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 We all feel guys. a little exposed after each episode. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely uh, some police forms that need to be filled out. What are, mm. what are the, what's one of the safe words, Jeff? Chorizo? Chorizo. Usually when Jeff when Jeff's at his last like he's gone. I've, I've been kind to everyone. I've done all the right things. It's Why usually when I have like, like low blood sugar and I just can't handle it anymore. Yeah, you're like, okay, chorizo. And then chorizo going, time. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I do like it, so you make done. it pretty. It's been a fun episode so far. Hey, so, so Rossi, so you're doing. You, I know you're drawing a cool picture right now of. Um, and but can you draw one tomorrow? Character. But uh, like, so where can people find you uh, on the internet? They get like an Instagram or Twitter, or do you have like old work that you want to like would be a good representation of what you do? Uh, so, yeah, on we're not thrilled with the new work. <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about the new work, but like, there's got to be old stuff that people can I, can uh, find. Yeah, uh, I'm mostly on Instagram. I don't use Twitter. Um, it's That's a good smart. Just a nightmare to look at. Um, so I'm on Instagram, and that's just my name, Rosie Gifford. Wee little tag there, I guess. Um, and I guess Facebook, but I don't know. I and actually, I'm very active on LinkedIn. That's actually why I get oh, really? my book. I never met someone who's <laughs> what really. Seriously? That's yeah. so interesting. <laughs> yeah, what do you I, on it's so. We with LinkedIn because I had it for years, like at school and stuff. Because they're like, "Oh, it's so professional and networking." And I'm like, "All right, it's lame." Uh, but I've started using it again in the past few months, and that's why I've gotten all my like recent work, re like and like the bigger jobs. It's through LinkedIn. Yeah. God, well, I that's actually that's actually that a really great piece of information for people. Uh huh. I, I literally I'm deleted my account day. like about a year ago. Huh? I deleted my LinkedIn. Oh no, you should get it back just in case. I don't know. I mean, but it's just a, like, it's a good mix of like, obviously it's like Instagram. To me, it's like Instagram, but it's very, very work specific. And I just mm -hmm. use it as an extension, right? Um, For like animation work and comic stuff. And yeah, it's like the gig that I will be doing. Um, It was through LinkedIn and everything recently been through there. And I'm like, huh. So don't awesome. dip it till you try it, because that's where I've gotten most of my employment. I like that. Year two. Yeah. Then I guess a recent piece of work I did. Well, it's like again, I've been doing a lot. I don't do a lot. Haven't done a lot of like interior like comic stuff. Uh, just because I've been doing a lot of like conceptual work for animation. Been doing more cover work. Uh, some titles. I've been doing a few stuff for Image now. That'll be coming out soon. Um, did one for Mad Cave. Um, that was that another. Mark, that's Mark Irwin. Ah, uh, yes. Mark Irwin's been banned from this show. Oh, is he? What did Shush, he do? No, that's not <laughs> remotely true. What did no, he we, do? no, no, we love Mark. Yeah, Mark's the best. Mark, we just Mark, have a Mark's height requirement. Yeah, yeah, that's all. He's a what? We have a height requirement for the show. Oh, you must be this tall to be a guest on the show. <laughs> Mark actually can't be on the show now. He's, <laughs> he's wearing one of those, um, what's it called? One of those locks on the ankle. No. A shackle? They're, tra they're Yeah, they're tracking him constantly. 
gosh. Just because he's the coolest man in the world, and you know where he's at at all times. That's true. Actually, yeah. one you should get in soon. Uh, I mentioned, in, like, I did try to wait to Ron Garney, and that would be hilarious if you got him on at some point. We've tried. Ron <laughs> is doing Ron some very does. cool stuff. His yeah, berserk Ron stuff is awesome. Is Ron is cool. exceptionally talented. Yeah. Um, we'd love to have him on. Yeah, no, I started. I started talking. I spoke like we started talking maybe a year or two just through Instagram, and yeah, he's a very lovely chap. Yes, his stuff. I remember we were all at a uh, a San Diego show once, and one of the reasons Ron is uh, as good as he is is that in the morning I woke up and uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> someone else just woke up. Uh, cried from a hangover, and Ron woke up and just started drawing in his sketchbook. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, that's how mighty he is. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, no wonder he's good. Oh, that <laughs> mental strength. Yeah, that's admirable. Yeah, I don't have that. No, no I me either. Yeah, I never have. I resent it a little bit. Sure, I am jealous. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. He likes to act like a know-it-all, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm saying that so I hope he sees this and <laughs> <laughs> calling him out. All right. What do you guys think of my immortal? Is he uh He's very immortal looking? I mean he looks pretty immortal, right? Strange with the I don't know. I'm, you know, I did work on um the comic. I don't know at one point. Yeah, which issue which issue did you work on? I did um they Dusty Abel put a, put together a very cool um, kind of like a Marvel. Uh, God, what, remember they had the the Marvel Universe books where everybody would draw the the characters. Oh yeah, did you work on the uh, the, the Invincible Universe book? Yeah, I did one of the one of the characters. I don't. I it was like the mom or something like that. Oh, right on. Hmm. It was fun. Yeah. I did the fish. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys like are, are big fans or not, but Paul Smith actually did the in, the immortal uh, entry. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah, it's a great drawing. Oh, I'm sure. He's a <laughs> yeah, Paul Smith is awesome. talent that guy is. Yeah. God. If you guys say so. <laughs> they yeah. hated the X Men. Uh, All right, I think I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead here. Dave, that um, came out great. Look at nice that. Thing. Nice work, Dan. It's not very angry. Shut this off. Very angry. But now we're gonna take a little bit of toilet paper. Ugh. Oh, is that ink still wet, Dan? Yeah, it's all. Gotta wipe it. Yeah. Give these things a little bit of texture. Interesting. Hmm. That's an interesting technique. Hmm. Gonna wipe it. Wipe it good. Yeah. Like a sharpie I marker. I can't make it to the bathroom, and I'm like, <laughs> glad I got this here. Sure. I prefer Stop. to use the, uh, the bidet when I'm wiping ink. <laughs> He's like sitting on the bidet while you're doing it, or using the bidet? Well, you know, it? I've had times where it felt like I was wiping a Sharpie, you know, you know what I mean? I, I do. You know what? I have to say, Dave, you recommended a bidet and I've never been happier. That's what I'm here for, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My life was massively improved. Good advice. Really? <laughs> yeah. Good, good sound advice. You guys ever heard of like those little like handy wipes or whatever? The, the thing for babies, like a baby wipe. Those yeah, will clog up your pipes. Buddy. Yeah. You do you do you Wash those. You got to bend that, and that's yeah. 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 Sorry, Dan, you got to bend that. Sorry, Dan. Me and Jeff are more uh, European continental than you are. Yeah, we're more sophisticated when it comes to uh, yeah. But who likes the A twenty four films more? Me. <laughs> it's true. Do you like A twenty four? Thank you. Oh, did you see Lamb then? No. You know what? Oh, As much but... Dave's going to give me a lot of shit, but. Um... I really want to see that. It looks awesome. It's amazing. I went to I went to see that in the theaters with a friend. It was only eight people in the in the theater, 
And I it's it. a fucking ride. It's so I won't say and like I won't say much because you really need to experience it. It's not not what you think it's gonna be. And but I I remember I streamed it with some friends after and it was their first time watching it and that was the best time. All right. It, it's really right. you should watch it like together or with a group and just experience it. It is a very special time. Which, uh, <laughs> what movie is this? Uh, Lamb. Lamb. Lamb, Dave. Remember you? Lamb? Yes. It's, yeah. it's literally a... That was like yeah. the first A24 film I picked out to make fun of Dan over. <laughs> I have a movie called Lamb. <clears throat> well, I hear it's good. All right. So it's, it's movie night. Year. I feel like I've seen the, uh, the trailer for it. I can't remember though. You, yeah, you probably have. I, yeah, just just watch it and let me know. Tell what you think <laughs> after. Well, well, we'll have to have you back on, and then we can all talk about the movie review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Hmm. Brett Thompson, oh, one of our sponsors at Eon, loves the toilet paper effect. Oh my god. <laughs> No one's ever Who doesn't love your um, I was busy course. drawing, and so I didn't notice that we had 231 comments. Wow, guys. Oh, we yeah, did? Great job, Ben. You're, no, no, Ben welcome. was busy doing all kinds of stuff. I just, I, sh I, 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 can I, yeah, I've been holding the conversation. And I should have had friends saying hi, and now they're just <laughs> yeah. like, they're just probably thinking, oh, Rosie's not saying hi back. Okay. Uh, we only had like two people mention it. All right. <laughs> I said that about right. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, thank you everyone for the comments you made. I'm sorry that I was busy drawing and I got I got distracted by the abs. I mean, what do you guys think about the abs? I don't know. This guy said Fantastic. Dale says great thing about being immortal: unlimited gym time. Exactly. That was my feeling. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna be in shape if I was immortal. <laughs> What's this say? Canadian wolves. Uh oh. That's why my dogs barked. Oh. See, I have fans. Oh yeah, actually, look at look at uh, Ben was here's, on the. Uh... Here's one about Dan. What? Very <laughs> 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 Dave. Brutal, brute. Oh. Ow. <sighs> Lovely. What's this? Lovely. There's so many Canadians. I knew Ted was Canadian, but like yeah. everybody's Canadian here. It's like a. We're all a little team. Canadian. Mm. Not me, man. I'm here 100% American. Like, it's always weird when people, like, when I do interviews or whatever, people are like, oh, so Canadian artist Rosie Gibbett. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm Scottish. I just live in Toronto, but I'm Scottish. Get it right. That is really nice, Dave. Great tones. Oh, yeah. It is really cool, Dave. It's getting there. Yeah. Nice Slowly work. building it up. Brett Thompson approves. That's important. I mean, you know, nobody's going to want to buy the character, but, you know. I don't know about that. I think the robot character is pretty popular. Wait a minute. Here's a Don Bluth question we have to ask. He's no, he's no Batman. Didn't Don Bluth have an animation <laughs> studio in, in, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this properly, Rosie, Scotland? Yeah, that sounds, about, that sounds fine. <laughs> you, you got word. I don't want to, like, butcher it. No, no, that was good. All right. Did Don did Don Bluth? I call him Donnie. Um, did he have an animation studio in Scotland? Yeah. Or he and I are good friends. I, I do think he did. Did it was in Skyward. I wouldn't be surprised if it was an island, but maybe it wasn't. Wow. There are a lot there of a, uh, screensaver on my, and this is going to be fascinating to a lot of the people watching. There's a screensaver on, um, like uh, Apple TV. There's mm -hmm. two of them that are. Um, Scotland uh, landscape and it's incredible. Oh yeah. No, Scotland's so oh. welcome world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice getting back home um after like you know, it was like two years I couldn't get back home and then over Christmas I was able to go back and yeah, it's pretty it's a good time. People are nice there. Yeah, I enjoyed uh, my visit last time I was there. They let you in. Yeah, I believe. Can you believe that? I think I think they were happy to see him. What? 
I mean, they inv- they invited you, right, Dave? You didn't just show up. Uh, well, it wasn't a Scotland show. Uh, it was uh, it was actually in Ireland, but I went over to Scotland. Hmm. Why would you do such a thing? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a traveler. He wanted it's- to see the the uh, the Giants Causeway. Hmm. Is that in Scotland? Honestly, I can't remember what I did while I was there. <laughs> Again, you need more fish oil, Dave. Everybody yeah. says so. I mean, that just sounds like you were drunk. There you go, Rossi. There's one for you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And that's a long one. That is a good one. I'm still reading it. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's nice. <laughs> there we go. That's one out of the two. <laughs> All right, wait. Somebody has some info for you. Rossi, downtown LA is like uh, Yonge Street in Yonge. Toronto. Ugh. I don't go to Young Street. <laughs> <laughs> that, that did not go over well, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Wayne. Oh, We're never sorry. gonna get Rossi back now. Oh, oh. sorry. Yeah, Young Street shit. Like I just stay in my lane of the my I think that's where J Bone took us out, was Young Street. It would be, yeah. <laughs> Rossi, you're wearing a rather unusual glove, and I can't help but notice that Jeff's um, streaming mm-hmm. partner on his show, Another Round, also wears a similar peculiar glove. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's, it does a lot for uh, the screen gets hot and smears and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. The oh, screen yeah. smears? Well, not the, it doesn't smear, but like it, like if... Um, Sweat if on you're your using the Cintiq all day, that's a good glove to keep it from, you know, getting hot it, and getting, it, like... Hot, yeah, and it gets sticky. Um, so, yeah, it's just to glide through. So it's always mm-hmm. funny. It's like my kind of, like, Michael Jackson glove or something. Like, you just right. help kind of glide through and draw away. And it does get really hot, too, so it kind of, like, protects your hand a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. If you use a... I mean, Dan, you use a Cintiq all day. Yeah. Um, I don't have a fancy he, yeah, he, he just wears a gym sock on his hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you might you might actually enjoy that glove. That no, glove. toilet paper. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Dan, Dan and I come from uh, a, a different, an, an analog world. Where, where you artists use... suffer. <laughs> yeah, where it's just the pain. Yeah, there's a lot of suffering at Casa de Pan Pan. Yeah. But it is actually a really good glove, Dan. You might want to try it. It is right. good for like coloring. It's just like yeah, it's just really easy because don't don't you doesn't your hand get like a little bit caught on the screen when you're coloring? No, I mean I, I mean maybe if I had the glove, I'd go man, look, look what I've been missing. But please I get that glove, it. Dan. Please get <laughs> it. Please get that glove. Yeah, you'd love it if I was. Watching <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots no, of professionals the enjoy the glove, Dan. Mm. No. Smell the glove. Yeah, smell, smell the glove. glove. Final tap. Uh, yeah. yeah. A classic and out. Al- it's a classic album. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put to go along with the uh, toilet paper. I'm probably gonna put some spatter on this. Um, but I'll spray it here in the, in there, and then probably use the toilet paper again and again. Are you gonna do the toothpaste? The uh, toothbrush thing? Yeah, I have a couple different toothbrushes. Oh. Yeah. Toothbrushes, cool. toilet paper. Now, do you do you put the like do you put the white ink on the actual brush, or do you make a little? Do you dip it in the white ink and then spray that? Like, how do you how do you apply it? I do a dip. See the pinky? Exposed. Yeah, yeah. The pinky's not oh, Rossi, oh. notice it's, ex- it's exposed pinky. I uh-huh. see it. And then I, I dip it in there, and then I generally make a mess, regret it. And then go, wish I had a glove. Very hot. This and then you have a toilet. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should have had that in 3D. Yeah. yeah. Like a yeah. TED talk of regret. Yeah, that would be great. But yeah, no, I always make a mess, Jeff. I, I think the smart way to do it would be actually to like place some white, white paint or black paint, paint on a piece of paper, dip the toothbrush in that, and then go. But I always land up doing it. I shake the toothbrush out a little bit. Um, that and I'm convinced that all the big flops are out. They're not, and then I ruin the page with it. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's years of practice, right? It's years of practice, and then never learning from the practice. Can't you just ink over the glob? Well, generally, that's the toilet paper does come in handy then because then I pick it up with the blob, but then I have it on slightly circle there, and then I'm like Kirby dot maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Sounds good. Yeah. Just clean it up and post. It'll be fine. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, post. Hey, Rossi, can we see your drawing before we sign out? Can we like the? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, just a second. I I feel bad that I didn't like go traditional. Um, but I haven't done it for a very long time. There's no, there's no point. No yeah, there's sure. no, feel, no, no feeling bad on this show. Oh, okay. Only Jeff feels bad, and occasionally Dave. Casada's <laughs> never drawn on paper on the show, so. So I started coloring her in. I haven't done it yet. I finished her off. But... Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you started oh, coloring wow. it. Wow, so cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just got the flats in, started her face, and yeah, you know, I'll, I'll finish off eventually and post it. You well. always had a great coloring sense. I always love to see when you color your uh, sketches and you put them on Thanks. Facebook. It's really cool. Yeah, excellent palette. Col coloring is hard. Um, and I'm always just trying, I just look at other people. I always refer to like Toma Hanukkah. Um, oh, he's great. Oh, yeah, he's so stuff. good. It's like super I... simple too, and very minimal colors as well. That's great, Jeff. Yeah, I pretty much learned how to color just by swiping Adam Hughes colors. Yeah. He, he has a great palette. I just go, well, how well, how would he color this cover? And, and luckily, he's colored about six color like, covers like, so like, far. Like, like, so, <laughs> like, yeah. So I can go, all right, he would use this palette. And, I, and I, it blew yeah. my mind. I'm like, there's about four colors on this or six colors total. Yeah. And, um, you know, especially his early work. But it, it really helped, helped me a great deal just to narrow down my choices. Because right? a lot of times I think with drawing the... the the less choices you give yourself, you have to be creative and you, you come up with exactly. interesting solutions. Yeah, I love that kind of approach. I always have a carry to always lean on for coloring. Like whenever oh, I'm great. Paint, he's incredible. Like he's got such a traditional like painting approach too. But every time like I'm trying to figure out like, you know, some dynamic lighting or contrast, I just send him like screenshots of what I'm doing. And he just like does a little quick paint over sometimes. And I'm just like, shit, dude, that looks awesome and it just I'd it, be like, I, think I'll, I think i'll just use that <laughs> yeah he should just, just ask carrie to help you out he'll do it for you yeah he's no, exceptionally I a lot talented from him. he does that like sometimes he'll do it and other times he'll just say and it's just so helpful especially having a new set of eyes and someone giving you such a rough like blocking of something and then you're like oh wow okay that makes sense so yeah no, he, I, it was interesting. I was watching him like kind of evolve into the inking because before he would just get his yeah. pencils colored, I, I think by guys like, was it Dave McCaig or was it Dave, um, uh, who was coloring the Conan stuff? I don't know. You, you, it sounds like somebody needs some fish oil. It was Dave. <laughs> yeah. Dave. Someone's going to be pissed at me. But, but then he started, yeah, he started inking himself and then coloring himself. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. And he skyrocketed. Like he went from doing two tone coloring and he just kept applying more and more color. And now at this point, guys like him and Matteo Scalero, oh, uh, incredible. Well, every time I taste this, he's been posting all these like commissions he's been doing. And I'm just like, yeah. oh my goodness. Like, mate. Yeah. And on top of that, he's putting out comic books like crazy. I'm like, so yeah, he's amazing <laughs> sketches in color most of the time or, or part of the time. Or yeah. just like watercoloring like Dave, but actually, you know, not being chintzy about it the way Dave is. He's basically showing off in his Italian yeah. Italian ways. Yeah, Matteo's amazing. We should probably break his break his hands next time we see him. They just reform. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> his hands are mortal, they'll never be. <laughs> the time. sound effects. Jeff, if you ever need me in animation for sound effects, I'm there for you. Big you uh, we talked about you the other day on on uh, my show. Your skill at writing scene descriptions. I, I heard. I watched the show, Jeff. It was hilarious. I, I like that Jones appreciated it that much. Oh yeah, no, I mean it was. You set this. You set the standard for all of animation. You didn't know it. Oh, that was fun. That was a fun night. Jones was in. Steve Jones was in a big hurry, and and he was just plugging away doing all the um, actual storyboarding. But he didn't have time to do the scene description for the storyboarding, and so I, he, uh, for better or for worse, he let me do it. And uh, I don't know. It was yeah, no, we're, yeah. Well, what's funny about that is like scene descriptions are not as much of a thing anymore um, now that we all use Toon Boom and make 
small animatics. Yeah. So there's less uh, there's less room for interpretation when something goes overseas. But back in the day, <laughs> scene descriptions were a major part of the job. Yeah, I had fun with it that night. Yeah. Well, guys, it's seven thirty. Is it Teresa time, Dave? I think it's Teresa time. <laughs> All right. I'm a little. I'm getting a little peckish. I know. Wow. I, I, I'm a little what? hungry myself. Yeah. <laughs> Dave. So cool. Well, Rossi, do you have any final words, like words of wisdom for people? I mean, people out there need answers, and they're searching for something, anything. It's Maybe a bunch of lost help. sheep out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of uh, pressure. I think fish oil. Yeah, fish I mean, oil. That's, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's, we could all use a little more of that for sure. Yeah. Fish oil, I'm going to start using that because, yeah, I'm – yeah, I totally need that. I think that's just it kept like it kept reoccurring, you know. And I'm like, mm, there's a thing going on here. So well, I think fun. because we're all geezers. Yeah. yeah. Well, also that's that's, that's, that's a, a you know a, a standard comedy ploy, you know. Uh, uh, you know, uh -oh. a callback. Dave forgot what he was going to say. <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> <ran Yeah>. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Oh, all, all right. right. <laughs> they got well, the drawings upside down too. Yeah, in case you didn't know. Well, that was really fun though. I can't believe already like so much time has passed. I let we talked about so much. We did cover did a lot. Of really though, <laughs> did we really talk about much? Uh we talked a lot of shite. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was great to finally have you on the show. Thanks for being patient and uh, hanging in there. Oh, thanks yeah. for having me. It was a lot of fun. We're going to do the show a little bit looser, so we're just going to, when we have guests, it's just going to be like, we're just hanging out, so mm -hmm. you're welcome back anytime. Thanks, yeah. yeah. All right. The, uh, Scottish All right, Canadian everybody. POV. Mm. All right, everybody. Adios, Ben. Do what you do so mm. well. Click the button. Yeah. yeah. Just click it. Yeah. Bye, everyone. We'll see you again. Thanks.